I'm Greg Mester, uh, Scrum Master and Agile Coach, here to share some practical and tactical ideas on Scrum and Agile to help you get home for your family, because it is Friday. You want to get home, not work over the weekend, um, increase your business, and make it less stressful in the office, and have some fun at the same time, right? Again, this is episode 109. I did my first international uh, symposium virtually, which is cool. You know, I was all excited. So if you got an email from me, by the way, there's in messages in LinkedIn. That's me typing those messages. It's not a robot. I don't have a robot. I don't use robots. I don't do any of that stuff. I type them. I read messages. I give replies. It's me. Um, and why I share that because, and this is what I'm going to go into. We're going to draw this on the board here. I got the whiteboard out and it was on the thing, right? I got a blank one. Um, so we're going to go into that. So. I share that so everybody can learn. And, and, and this is part of being an agile coach. And I see this a lot on some agile coaches. And, and then, you know, I'm like, come on, man. Really? You, you got to be a hard, hard butt. So uh, Lisa Atkins, she has this chart she came up with. And I think I'm going to attribute to her because I know what's in her book. And, um, you know, coaching agile teams. Um, so I'm just going to give her if it's not. Give me clarification and I'll add a little more research. But she has this coaching stance or how you set up for coaching. And there's different areas. Up here in the top is the agile lean practitioner. Right? And that's what we talk about. We talk about the practice and how to be agile and lean. Over here, she has teaching, mentoring. And over here, she has coaching and facilitating. Dating, facilitating. Facilitating. All right, facilitation. And then uh, we, here we have transformation. This is for those who are like me, transform enterprises. Um, business, and we have technology. So these are the guys that know, this is like the Jira guy people. This is the business that knows how to do the sales and marketing side, which we had a big show on yesterday. Ooh, I in a transformation, everything's transformation. Coaching, facilitating thing. So when you do this as an agile coach, you're always kind of looking in here and you're figuring out where you need to be in different places. There's two big areas here, teaching, mentoring. You know, and facilitating maybe, and coaching too. You know, I get I get a couple feedback from some some why I share the stuff I share on LinkedIn, because if I get something of value that even if you're an agile coach, you can't use because you already got all the search. But some somebody, you know, please send me. I will never not hesitate to share with you all. Um, you know, stuff discount to do the the teaching and mentoring part, right? You know, if you're a scrum master and you're thinking about being an agile coach, I'm going to send my connections like discounts if I get them or if I see something like the, the international symposium. It was free. It doesn't cost any money and it's virtual. So you can watch it at home and watch as much as you want, whatever. So when I see stuff like that and we kind of do that at our agile affiliate, which is great. The guy who organizes that like shares all the stuff around my community. You know, it's just so because there's so much stuff out there. And if it's especially if it's free and you could use it, it makes sense to share it, right? So that's that's a good thing. And I hear, I don't know if there's a kid coming. We'll see. But but those are the kind of things. So I share that. I got some people like, please stop sharing me stuff. And I love when an agile coach tells me, don't give me free stuff. The reason why I give it to you is if you're a mentor to scrum masters, BAs, developers, you can share that. My place is kind of restrictive on what we can share because it doesn't let you do any links pretty much outside the facility. But for the ones that do and the ones I know, I share those links with people because I want them to grow. I want them to mature, right? And it's free and it doesn't hurt. It's not like a hard sales thing and it gives them an opportunity. So those are the kind of things I, I, I share. But I'm really interested when I hear see agile coaches, don't send me any of that kind of stuff anymore. I'm like, it's free 
and it helps people grow. Don't know why you don't want to do that. It's not like, hey, let me, I'm not selling swampland for something or anything like that. So don't get that. Anyway, so that's what I'm talking about. And that's why I'm a cheerleader, right? And I, and I see that people that, you know, hi, somebody's here. Just in time for the end. You can be in charge of the bell when we're ready, okay? Don't do it now. Um, so I'm really surprised when I see these Azure coaches make these sharp comments. And so that goes to my final thing. That they make these comments like, that's not, this is, this is what's not in the book. Having some passion, this is why I'm a, I say I'm an Agile cheater. Not only cheering on Agile, but I cheer on the people that I work with. I like, great job, man. You know, keep it up. Keep pushing it. And you're going to get better. And I really support you in what you're trying to do and grow. There's some Agile coaches out there that are just bad as everybody else. They'll kind of undercut you and, and, and say things. And I'm like, Really? And you call yourself an agile coach because you want agile coaches to be positive, not overly positive where you get a trophy for everything you do. Don't want that. That's too far. But trophies are good. You worked hard, didn't you? You scored a couple skulls in soccer, right? I mean, that's good to get a trophy. He was looking at his phone when I scored over a big goal. Yeah, you did. I know. I was, uh, was, I was <laughs> sending out stuff. Um, the one time I don't look, I, I miss it, right? Um, you miss all the good stuff. I don't. I do not. I see a lot of good stuff. Anyway. Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I don't. I get it. Um, but anyway, it's just to be passionate about that, and I cheer people on. So that's part of what's not in the book. That part of being an agile coach is cheering on people to grow, right? And you have to be supportive, even if you don't believe what they're saying. You still got to be supportive and say, hey, you know, take your angle, explore it. Find out what there's out there, but but it's Friday. It's Friday. Oh, we got fortune cookies today. Fortune cookie day. Fortune cookie Friday. It's good morning. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum. Hope everybody's doing well. It's a, been a long, interesting week for the first week of November for me. Um, going out and did the international stuff. 